which prophecy? Where did it come from? From God. He told you directly that he has prophecy for you. Because God tell you. And when God has something for you, he will not miss you to locate you no matter how far you are, no matter what country you are, no matter where you are, no matter what color you are, no matter how people have seen you, no matter how much you mistake, God take prostitutes, shower them, give them life, right? God take people who are killing people by gun, shower them and make them the best, greatest men alive. So, if God can do that for those people, why are you people not seeking him? You just want the pastor. He's always the pastor. Pastors, you have become bad people. You have become very bad example, pastors. Do not be happy when you are a pastor. To all the pastors in this world, check yourself. How many people have you brought to God and how many people have you kept in your pocket? You are taking. You are taking. And these people don't know salvation. And what messages are you preaching in the church? Because people are stealing, committing adultery, lying, gossiping, sleeping with married men, being evil and malice. And they are the church in front, they are the praise leader. Sister Ruth sing, Oh Lord. Sister Ruth demon, they enter the whole church. Everybody is attacked by demon. Because the spirit you carry, when you go in front of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit shine light upon your spirit. And they don't even go anywhere. But those demons are stubborn. When they see the Holy Spirit, they start to run. And if it's weak, weak church, those demons are not running anywhere. Demons in the church now, they are running from the front in the pulpit. They are running to people. They lock it. It's like a, a flies, you know, when you put something here, like the way it is here. The bed will come. It's the way the demons are operating. They are inside the church. They are inside the church. The devil is in front of the pulpit. And that's why there's only one request from people. I want to be blessed. I want to own this. I want to own that. I don't have car. I don't have big house. I don't have anything to my name. The way I save God right now if I die, I don't have anything big to my name. The only big thing I have to my name is God. That's so, all. If I die today, sister, I am dying away. I am dying with God. And you he or not, they can bury me like rubbish. But when I enter heaven there, ah, it be other Jesus. The whole, that day Jesus is inviting the whole heaven. My rich daughter is coming. Because we are looking for the, everything else apart from Christ. All of you people with Christ. The ones with houses, big cars. Children in your churches are sleeping hungry. Children are suffering. We know it all. All of you people with Jesus who go to church every Sunday. Pastor wife, what did God put you in charge to do? Sister keeper, brother keeper, what was your job in the first place? What did God call you for? To only ask, 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 ask. What are you doing for God? God, God give us everything. Even one day just of respect. People are ashamed when you go to church, especially the young generation. If you go to church, you're out of fashion. You can't represent God in the public. So people carry God up to a certain limit. When they're around their cool friends, they are not Christians anymore. When they're around their friends of church, then the tongues came out. But when Oh yeah, you people are carrying the way we are playing misleading games with ourselves. We are doing the same game with God. The one who sees everything with his eye and his hand, he's got the power to crush this small earth. To God, this earth is like this. He go crush it like that. Do you wonder why he has never crushed us? Have you ever wondered? God of joy, God of understanding, God of slow to end. I want to worship his name because he's good. He's good. He 
has chosen to be good because it's a choice. He has, God has chosen to be good to you, me, everybody. God has chosen to love a black man, a white man, a Muslim man, a straight man, a gay man. It is us human beings who are deceiving people because we don't like gay people. So we have even made the, the Christian church hostile to gay people. God will whip all of you men of God. Did God come and tell you in his vision that he doesn't want to work with gay people? You are busy making groups here. You don't want to see gay people be their selves. But half of you pastors are gay men. You they be doing nasty things behind God's back. That's why God is angry. That's why I'm saying let's ask for mercy. If our brother is gay, especially as black people, it's good they are black people here. We are even ruthless us. If it's us, the black men, my brother, when a brother tells you he's gay, he die. When your brother needs you, he's always alone. The family even tells, oh, that one. But do you know that that one, God love him too? Do you know that that same one, God died for him too? Do you know that people are tired of being lonely and judged and put in boxes? Get out of the boxes, the judgment and all of this. Come to love. Come to love. My God is love. I met my God when I was an angry woman. He taught me everything you do. Take that anger out. Because I love you. You don't represent me when you're angry. I put my anger down. Now I am waking every day to just bring even one person to where my God is. Because people laugh at God. But people need my God. Because what is about to come, people who need God at the wrong time. I am out here because pastors are selfish. They are still on Zoom. Still collecting money from people. Still collecting time. Still operating like church. All of you. Still. You hear me? God is calling all of you, all of us. Keep looking at people and walking away from them. One of these days, you'll find yourself at a place where you're going to say, I met a black woman talking about God. I walked away. Now I'm in an accident. Now I'm in this. Now I need God. And I pray that God will remember you because God will never react like me. God reacts only like God. That's why if you are gay, go to God. If you lie, I brought you to sleep with married men. First, go seek God. God doesn't have a problem with people like you. The world has a problem with people like you. God starts to work with people like you. Go to God. And God will change everything he wants to change about you. Let the changing be for God. Don't let it be for your pastor. Don't be let it be for the church. I am telling you people, Jesus is coming. Stop scaring people to God. We have made people who don't know God think that God is angry. God is less love. God is judgmental for when you tell gay people about God, gay people hate God because of what you people have said about God. Because God didn't make the gay people, it's the same God that made gay and straight. Go seeking first. He works with all of us different. That's the problem. We've been told that all of us have to be the same. The journey I'm walking for God. You cannot walk it. You have your own journey. Go and walk your journey for Christ. Let me walk mine. You be gay? Okay, no problem. Me and you can stand right here. You are representing the same God I represent. I don't care. You are worshiping Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us. Okay, amen. Praise the Lord. Come, let's stand here and see. Your sexuality is the last thing that I'm going to talk about. Who you, you, you look like if you are wearing short skirt or tight pants, no bra, no underwear. It's your own business. Me, the only thing I want you to know is that my God loves you. And the way my God is going to transform you. Only my God knows. Didn't you hear that only the Son knows the Father and only the Father knows the Son? All of us don't know nothing. Come to Christ. Believe me. Why in Bahalelu? 
forever be victory. Jehovah is the master now. Hallelujah. And after this, you can go for the rest of your life and start having an encounter with Christ. It's easy. Just say, Dear God, I come before your presence, Lord, for I have done so many things, so many things in your sight that have not made you happy about me. Father, I have stolen, I have lied, I have cheated, I have gossiped, I have done things that have not made you proud. I come before your presence today. Jesus, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Wash me and cleanse me in the blood of Jesus. Do not forsake me, Lord. I am your child, for I need your grace and your mercy every day. Purify me and wash me in the blood of Jesus. For I acknowledge that you are my Father and Savior. From today, I open my heart, my body, soul, and spirit to you. Come in, Jesus. Start working with me. One step at a time. It won't be easy, but I trust in you. Take my hand. Hold me. Walk with me. Deliver me. Show me that you are going to be there with me. Show me the type of love that no one has ever shown me. Because that's what I've heard about you. So God, I am a new creature in you from today. Take the challenge with me up from here in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Peter, set my troop. Kappa me. Magnet. Nay, 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 nay. Yep, net no apart. You see, engineer is taking money from there. He keeps putting in the machine. Wait. I'm going to go and change some music a little bit. Facebook, you can see me okay. Is the light okay?
Let's do 10 minutes of just letting the presence of the Lord come down.
said I walk the walk now For you to enter the kingdom of the Lord Hallelujah I said Him must be the way And I see Hallelujah Angels sing Him must be the way And I see Hallelujah Angels sing Him must be the way Jesus, are you enjoying yourself? Yes, praise the Lord. The God bless you. Dance, baby. The Lord told me he's going to win a lot of children to his kingdom. These children were here last week. Now you be children of the Lord. Okay? Yeah, so we're doing that too. Come on. I'm going to repeat it again. No problem.
with 